the Steam Awards. That's right. So if you don't know what the Steam Awards are, right? It's this thing where you vote for the winners of Steam games, basically. Now, I know that there aren't that many, like, reputable, uh, you know, winners of this. But I think it's a fun thing to do. And also, I'm bored. So there's that, too. All right. So we're just going to do this, this fun little thing because I'm bored. And it's late here. And I don't know. I don't know. I figured it would be fun. We've chosen the nominees. Oh, I haven't. I haven't really chosen them yet but whatever game of the year well it's not gonna be cyberpunk <laughs> that's for sure we have red dead redemption i don't know red dead was pretty um pretty mixed not gonna lie hades uh, dude hades like blew up and is an indie game so you know i'm rooting for it i've never actually played it still but i know that it's a good game because a lot of people keep telling me about it what's this one doom eternal okay that that might actually win not gonna lie fall guys See, Fall Guys was popular for like two weeks and then it kind of died. So, probably not. Most likely not. Oh, Death Stranding. That's a good nominee. Uh, I know a lot of people liked it. I never played it, but you know. I'm gonna say Hades, honestly. Let's see. VR Game of the Year. We have Half-Life Alex. you know. I think that deserves it for sure. Phasmophobia. Dude, that game is so janky. But, I mean, hey. It's, uh, it's whatever. You know, I think I think Half-Life Alex actually deserves it. I'm not gonna lie. I think I think it's great. Phasmophobia is so janky. It's an indie game, sure, and obviously, like, I love indie games, and it's a fun game to play with friends. But I don't think it's VR game of the year. I think Alex definitely deserves it. The Room. I've never seen footage of this. It looks it looks okay. What about what about Thief Simulator? I've never heard of this before. It looks like uh, it looks okay. Then Squadrons, which I've never heard of. I'm gonna say Half-Life Alex. I, I think it definitely deserves it. Quite honestly, and I think I can say that. I've been meaning to play it, and I haven't played it yet, but I think it'd be fun, and I'm waiting for it to come on uh, the VR thing that I have, because my brother has VR, and I don't, so I like to mooch off him, but you know, let's see, Labor of Love. Uh, this game's been out for a while, well past the debut of Creative Baby, Counter-Strike. I'd, I'd say Among Us. I'd say I'd say Among Us, for sure. It, it was out like two years ago, blew up. Yeah, no, that's fair. Better with friends. Sea of Thieves, I was just playing Sea of Thieves last night with my friends. Fall Guys is definitely better with friends. I think Risk of Rain 2 probably might win it. I don't know. Sea of Thieves is fun. Uh, oh, this is actually a tough one for me, I'm not gonna lie. See, I've never been a Borderlands fan, so I'm not gonna vote for it purely because of that. I've never really liked it. I've never really gotten into it. I've never heard of this one. Deep Rock Galactic. Out of all of these, I've heard the most of Risk of Rain 2 recently, so I'm gonna say Risk of Rain, which is another game that I need to play, but I haven't yet. Why? I don't know. I just haven't yet, you know? But hey, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll have a lot more friends, you know, to play Risk of Rain with. Because I really don't have any. So there's that. Most innovative gameplay. Um, super limital, hands down. Or tear Oh, Teardown's on this list. I know you love Dude, I love Teardown. You love her. I've played like three fifths of these. I've played Teardown, really fun game, but I think Super Limital is better for sure. Innovative gameplay, I think. I think super limited, definitely, for sure. If you haven't seen gameplay, but look it up, it's it's so cool. Uh, outstanding story, rich game, Red Dead Two. I don't know about that. Detroit Turn Human. I don't know. Oh, these are not good choices, bro. Of course, Last of Us Two isn't on here. That's funny. I figured it would be. I heard Detroit Become Human was a good game. I can't remember. Dude, I still want to play it. Um, I don't know. I haven't played like any of these. That's the problem. I'm going to say Horizon. I haven't heard any bad things about Horizon. So probably that one. Best games you suck at. Really? Ghost Runner? I've only played like two of these, right? So I can only vote for Ghost Runner. I think Ghost Runner is better than Apex. Yeah. Ghost Runner, dude, you die so many times in Ghost Runner. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I've died a lot in Ghost Runner. It happens quite a lot. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Outstanding visual style. Not Battlefield. Not Avengers. Uh, oh, Ori. I'm gonna have to give it to Ori. 
because of the art style and the flow of it. Yeah, it's got to be Ori. It's got to be Ori. It's got to be. It has to be. Why? Indie game. And also, like, the art style is actually good. It, it, oh my gosh, dude. It, it stands out compared to all of these. Why did you put Avengers in the same category? Bruh. Best soundtrack. All right, well, Halo. I mean, Doom Eternal slaps. I've never played Doom, but the Doom soundtrack is actually epic. So I'm leaning towards Doom. I know Persona has really good music. So I'm between Doom and Persona. I think if it were up to me. Oh, but then there's Halo. Halo has like iconic music. So now I'm, now I don't know. Now I don't know. I'm stuck between three. Ah, but um, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's the, the, the dumb part. Not Need for Speed, no. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Doom. I would unironically listen to the Doom soundtrack, even though I've never played the game. I mean, you can't, I mean, Sims, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Game is an antidote to a busy day. Smooth, relaxing, let your worries melt away. I'd say Goose Game, for sure, if that's the case, because it's a pretty, oh, am I done? Am I done? Is that it? Is that all I had to do? Scroll down to vote. I already voted, though. Was that it? That was short. Bruh. Winners will be announced the 3rd of January. Okay, well. That was kind of, uh, that was anticlimactic, not gonna lie.